Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, May 15th, 2018. Hey, more quickly, trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. Hope you had a great weekend. There's lots going on in the markets this morning, so with that, I'm going to jump right into today's video. If you know me, you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as my simple proxy for the markets overall. As long as the Russell is moving higher, I'm adding new names to my watch list. When the Russell is moving lower, I'm being extra careful and defensive. So we are looking at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And I like to step back and take a look at it on the bigger picture five-year monthly time frame. So I've taken away all my drawings. The only thing on the chart is volume and this blue line, which is the eight-day EMA. Here are the monthly candles. So far for the month of uh, May, we have a nice bullish orientation to the candle, but we still have about half of the month to go. So what I want you to note is that we're coming into an area where price was rejected in January. This was the January candle, which brought price all the way down here in February. We were back up to our March high, April, but you can see how this area has been a problem for uh, the markets and the Russell in particular for the last four months. So when it gets to this area and it looks as though the futures are pretty soft this morning, I'm going to be extra careful. So there's a little bit of a push-pull between bullish and bearish. We won't know until the month is complete whether this is just consolidation for a move higher or whether price gets rejected here and we move lower. So i just like you to see that orientation and be able to um, keep that in the back of your mind as we go forward. So I am going to put my drawings back on. And it gets a little cluttery, but um, it's important to, as a reference point, I'm going to ignore the blue down here and the orange. This is long-term support going back a long way. This is more medium, this orange. The most important line on my chart is this black diagonal line because it really corralled price through all of 2017. Uh, in the latter part of 2017, price was able to get up and over, but it sunk down below in February and it really hasn't been able to close over my black diagonal line on the monthly chart for about four months. So can May do it? We will see. So I just wanted you to note this very important line, at least to me, and the pink, which is more short-term support. So I'm going to move it away from the monthly to the one-year weekly so you can see how price is behaving. We uh, Here's that same black diagonal line, and we had a nice bullish candle last week, and here we are right up in this area. Uh, it's Tuesday. Will we start to reverse or will we actually break higher? We will see. But I just wanted you to see that orientation. So here's that blue line, which is the eight-day EMA. I use it as my guide on the weekly and daily. So price on the Russell is up and over the eight-day EMA on the weekly. And now let's go to the daily. Six-month daily, up and over the blue on the daily. Um, so being extra cautious, we're getting a weak start. Uh, so this could be the beginning of something coming in um, back into this area here. So we want to be uh, aware of that. Uh, so I'm going to be watching today, but should price recover in the next couple of days, I want to highlight a name I'll be adding to my watch list because price is up and over that eight-day unit. And that chart that I wanted to highlight for you this morning is Kozan Limited, ticker symbol CZZ. It trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. CZZ is a Brazilian utility. They're specifically involved in the production and marketing of ethanol and sugar. You can tuck into that a little bit more if you'd like. You know me at Chart of the Day Cafe, I am all about the scores underneath my chart and I really like the ones on CZZ. Number one, I look for value and CZZ has a really nice high value score. 
Second, I look for growth going forward, and it's got a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 26%. But the reason I'm really putting it in front of you this morning is the PE. It's got a current PE of 2.5, 2.45, I'm sorry. That's a very low PE for those scores, and it pays a dividend with a current dividend yield of 0.82%. So like the chart, like the scores, they have just announced earnings, so it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts to them. But let's take a look at the chart and start mapping out some areas of specific interest. So we're looking at the two-year weekly. Weekly candles, you can see overall in an uptrend and at an area of support. So it's come into this orange line, which offered resistance back here, here, and here. But then you can see the volume came in, pushing it up and over my orange and into this area, but it's come back in to rest in an area that may offer some support. So I'm interested in this area right here. That's the weekly, to your weekly look. Let's zoom it in to the six month daily. I use this blue line as my guide. I like to see price up and over the blue. Um, I use the three EMA and eight EMA. I wanna see the three go over the eight. I'm not gonna clutter my chart with that. I just want you to see for me, it's about price being up and over the blue and lifting. So I will be looking for that on Kozan in the days ahead. It might be a bit wonky today and tomorrow because of those earnings, but to me, they looked not too bad. The market is going to react to them the way the market will, but I really like the scores and the profile of this company. So I will be keeping an eye on it in this area right here as a lifting area off my orange line of support and perhaps some price strength coming in and moving higher. Having said that, the futures uh, are off significantly this morning, so going to be extra careful and just wait and see how the market uh, reacts to CZZ and overall in the next couple of days. Along with my new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. And for that, we're going to look at two charts. The first one is EWZ, which is the ETF for Brazil, because Cozan is a Brazilian company. We're looking at the two-year weekly. You can see on the two-year weekly, nice uptrend. It's come into this area of support, just like Cozan. And uh, Brazil, overall, the country, may start to get some lift here, which will pull up those components uh, and companies within that, uh, that uh, country basket. I hope that makes sense to you, but I like this chart. EWZ for Brazil. And now because it's a utility, let's take a look at XLU, which is the ETF for the utility space. Again, two year weekly. Um, it's been trading sideways for the most part, but as you can see, it's at this area of support and it's been trying to lift here. These are the weekly candles. So it's been trying to lift. Will it get that lift? We will see. I also like to take a look at seasonality, and for that I go to equityclock.com, which is an excellent site. Cannot say enough about it. Um, so as you can see, Cozan starts to come into seasonal favor right about this time of year. So no guarantee that happens again this year, but always nice to know. I could not find, I went to Finviz, and I like to see analyst support listed on Finviz. There wasn't anything that I could find in terms of analyst support on Finviz. So I did find an article at Zaxx. So this is a Zaxx article that was written just after their uh, last set of earnings. It is currently a Zaxx number one strong buy pick. So that's always good to know as well. And so to quickly recap, I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that the Russell is currently up and over the 8-day EMA on the daily and weekly chart. Having said that, it's in an area on the monthly chart where its price has been rejected for the past four months. Will it be rejected here? We don't know, but being extra cautious, so keep that in mind. Uh, we also looked at the sectors that CZZ are in, EWZ, which is the ETF for the Brazil, the country of Brazil. It's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and at an area of support. Showing you that because the components of the country, it would make sense to me that when the country's lifting, the uh, companies within the country will benefit as well. And then we looked at XLU, which is the ETF for the utility sector. It's a sort of trading flat on the two-year chart, but at an area of support. We looked at the chart for CZZ, it's in an uptrend on the two-year chart and at an area of possible 
price support and strength continuation. It's got a great value score, a great growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 26%, has a dividend yield of 0.82%, and does not have that 3 and 8 EMA cross that I look for, but I will be monitoring it in the days ahead should the market recover its uh, strong position. I want to see if we can get a uh, 3 and 8 EMA cross on CZZ. It's got seasonality in its favor, and I could not find analyst support for this stock, so I'm leaving that unchecked. It's got a current PE of 2.45, and they just announced earnings.